Tennessee Titans wide receivers coach Frizz Jackson joins me right here at TitansOnline.com. Coach, I want to ask you about Corey Davis. With the injury to Chajay Sharp, we're seeing a little bit more reps, a little more action for Corey Davis. What have you seen out of him? I've seen a guy that's stepped in and, and picked up where, you know, where we saw him practice and play at Western Michigan. I mean, he's a big guy that can run, is fast. Uh, but what I like about him, he's competitive as heck. He wants to compete, he wants to be good, and, and that's what we need in the guy. Where have you seen him improve the most in his limited time as a Tennessee Titan? Just the little small details, where to line up at, what's the depth of the route, you know, the things that you have to work on and mess up on a couple of times on the field to finally get it. And he's been getting, he's been good so far. Taewon Taylor is another rookie that we've seen a lot of throughout the whole offseason. What has stood out to you about him and his style of play? How fast and quick he is. When he gets the ball in his hands, he can go. And uh, he's been impressive every single day he's been out here. He's been working hard every single day he's been out here. And he's just got to continue to do it, you know, especially when we get the pads on. Richard Matthews led the team in receptions, in reception yards, in reception touchdowns. Is the sky the limit for that guy? I met with Richard uh, when I first got hired here, and I told him, you know, here, here's my expectations of you. I need you to lead, I need you to be detailed, and I need you to compete and, and be, the, be the best guy on the field. And since we've been out here on this green grass, he's done that. He's competitive, he's led, and he's been detailed. And that's, and that's all you want out of your receiver, especially a guy that you count on to be your number one guy. You expect him to do those things. And he's been doing those things. He's had a heck of a, heck of a spring so far. A lot of veterans in that wide receivers room. How is their leadership helping bring the whole group along? Some of the nuances and little things that I may not know about from, from what we did offensively last year, those older guys are able to talk to the younger guys about, hey, we're doing this. Hey, you got to move your split here, certain things like that. And so they've been great. You know, Harry, I've known Harry since he was a little small pup. I met him in 2008 when I interned with the Falcons. So to see him as an older veteran guy, E. Ween, same way I met him in 2008, just to see these guys now, older veterans, guys that I can, uh, you know, bounce things off of and ask them, hey, what do you think about this? You know, should I do this? Should I do that? And they give me, uh, you know, veteran answers. But they also are competitive, so, you, you know, they, they want to get better. They want to be great. And so they, they've been good. They've been really good. Does some of that familiarity help you out? Because this is your first year as wide receivers coach yeah. for the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, it does, because those guys know that I'm a product of Terry Wabisky, and they know how, to, how how Terry coached and what Terry demands were and expectations were. And so I'm able to use that as, hey, here's how Terry wanted it done, here's how he coached me, and here's the expectations, and let's do that. So it's been a good deal. What do you expect from these guys when they report back for training camp on July 28th? A hungry group that's ready to go. It's ready to go fight our butts off to go win.